I have a kid who's Nico, right? He says to me, I don't want a free ride. I already wrote my essays. And I read his essays. And I said, you want me to be honest with you? He says, yes. I said, they're really boring. And I was in admissions. <laughs> and I can tell you, they're super boring. You're super <laughs> bright. You're really great. These are really this boring essays. Terrible. This is terrible. <laughs> and, and I said, so I have this method where I told him, you know, we're going to do this. Find five moments in your life in which you went into an experience one person, you came out changed. And he said, ah, I don't think I, I hear, look at, you know, I don't think I want to do that. I said, okay, well, you don't need to work with me. He said, okay, okay, I'll do that. Oh. Yeah. So okay. he did it. You know, he wrote, finally had him free write. And he was like, I don't want, I don't think I need to free write. He fought me the entire way. I don't want to do it. Yeah. Well, this is teenagers too, yeah. right? He fought me the entire way. Finally, he writes, his three significant moments are, he's zorching, which is going down on your butt, a down a hill in camp, and then they go and jump in the showers in their clothes, and it was this moment, he wrote this, it was a sweet spot between responsibility and gallivanting. That's what he wrote. Then line. he wrote another one, which was really cool. The Oakland Rec Department had students, not students, potential lifeguards, watch a video, real live video, of ho a ho security camera video of a hotel pool, yeah, in which a lifeguard is playing with the kids, no, no, throws one of the five-year-olds into the deep end by mistake, or she doesn't think about it, throws him into the deep end, gets out of the pool, this is all in security camera footage, real, right, gets out of the pool, goes to buy a Coke, Oh, comes God. back in, yeah. The kid died. He did. Oh. And they made the potential lifeguards watch this video. Wow. And decide whether they're up for this job because people wow. do die at pools. Kids drown. These so, are great. Like you're telling me these stories, and I'm like, oh. Yeah. They're gripping. So the second one was first zorching down the hill on his butt. Second one, watching this and having to make the decision. Yes, I am ready for this. Being wow. scared and then going, I can do this. The third one was he had a friend, Andrew, who turned out was bipolar, and he had a, a, a breakdown in high school, went into, you know, went into the hospital, and you know, really went off the deep end. And so he sa I said to him, what was that you just said about Andrew? What did you write about Andrew? He said he went off the deep end. He said, but I don't think any of these things connect. And I said, deep end? <laughs> I'm like searching too. <laughs> right? I mean, wow. the kid drowned in the deep end and the friend went off the deep end and he was wow. like, whoa. And so then at the essay, I have it, it's in the book, it t and I tell the whole story that I'm telling now that what happened with Nico is he wrote an essay about watching this security camera footage, ha coming to a place in himself where he could envision Right, so he yeah. manifests his own yeah. ability. He can. He sees himself jumping into the pool. He sees himself pulling the body out. He sees himself giving compressions on the chest, yeah. and he says, "I can do this." Yeah. It was just last summer that I was zorching down the hill with my friends. That's the transition, <laughs> stitching it together. It was just last summer I was zorching down the hill with my friends. In the sweet spot between responsibility and gallivanting. Oh, Last wow. part. Recently, my friend Andrew, ba 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 ba, he went into the hospital. He went off the deep end, and then the conclusion is just. I said to him, "Well, okay, you see that they're related." Yeah, I, they're related. So, what was the lesson? Like, what's the conclusion? And the lesson was so beautiful. He said, "It was just a little while ago that I wasn't sure I could be responsible for saving lives." And he said, I came to see that I was. But an even more important lesson that I've learned is you can't save everyone from drowning. And that was his essay. Well done. Yeah. So that's what I do. I basically. It's like magic. It, well, it's the same thing you do, which is I ask them what has, you know, what in their lives have cha has changed them. A moment moments. when they, how do you put it? Uh, you, you said Five significant moments and moment where you go into an experience one person and you, when you come out, you're not the same. Where you go into an experience one person, you come out and you're not the same. I might steal that. <laughs> That's so good.